Okay, time for another app review here on the digitallifestyle.tv. We're going to take a look at Amazing Piano. Is it amazing? Well, you can decide. So here we've got the piano itself, and we've got uh, four choices here. We can do our practice mode, free mode, record, or select options. Now let's look at the options because really the only option here is whether you're going to play left-handed or right-handed. What does it matter, you ask? Well, basically it comes down to where the symbol is placed if a note needs to be sharp. So let's take a look at this because it's not a piano in the sense that we're not going to be playing on the keys as you would with a musical instrument for the iPhone, uh, a real you know keyboard layout. Think of it more almost like Guitar Hero. Instead of uh, colored dots though, you're pressing letters on the keyboard to make the notes and you might just learn a little bit about the songs as you do it. So let's take a look. Basically you have some uh, pre uh, entered songs here, and so we'll do the wedding march since most people know that. We'll do it slow. It's gonna be tough for me anyhow because as I do the review, I'm looking through a screen. But you just follow along. Those were M sharps, which if you know music, you know there's no M sharp, and that's what I'm talking about with it being a matter of hitting the right keys. Oh, I'm doing a great job here. So up at the top, though, we are seeing the corresponding real keys on the keyboard. So there is a little bit of a learning component to this, but really it's uh, more of a game component in terms of playing the game. Now you just tap on the keyboard here to close it and come back out here. Free mode obviously is the same thing, except you're doing all of the playing. And the thing that takes a little getting used to is these letters aren't even... Uh, corresponding to the part of the keyboard up here. So you might think all of these letters would correspond with these notes, but you can see the S, for example, and the D and the A are at completely different areas of the keyboard. Now there is a free version of this, and basically the difference is the free version does not allow you to record your own composition. So you might want to give that one a shot first before you buy Amazing Piano. For the TV, I'm Ryan Ritchie. Don't forget you can follow us on Twitter at TDL Live.